A flag is raised in this peaceful setting, the quiet, a sharp contrast to the sounds of war that many may still carry with them. The sight of stone and crosses that bear so many names bring back so much. When I was on the Okinawa invasion, Easter Sunday morning, 1945, and we're blessed to be here. A time for recognition, especially for World War II veterans still left. Ninety-one-year-old Ed Abernathy struggles to stand, but says being honored is still meaningful. Oh, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful ceremony. Mr. Abernathy, like so many of his generation, didn't always talk about his service, but his son knows enough. He landed on Guadalcanal, and he walked off of Guadalcanal. Ed Abernathy and Jim McNear went through World War II and then Korea together. Now as old friends, they have a simple message. It's a real honor to be here and remember those that have gone on before us. From World War II and Korea to Vietnam. I'm thinking about all the fellows that I served with that passed away, that uh, didn't make it home, and their families and the, the, the hardship that they are experiencing. To Iraq and Afghanistan. General Mike Murray, commander of the 3rd ID, says today should be less about shopping and vacations and more about what this site means. It's really on the backs of our veterans, and especially the 1.3 million that have given their lives. Uh, for this country that we can do all that we can do in this country. It's a ceremony that comes once a year, but for veterans, it's about an experience they've carried for a lifetime. Freedom is not cheap. It doesn't come free. We have to pay a price for our freedom. What an honor it is. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3.